Is Solana the new Ethereum? Are Twitter finally integrating crypto? And who runs the world? NFTs. Headlines today. TikTok integrates crypto, but which one? Solana pumps through the roof, but why? And of course, Twitter finally looks to integrate crypto. So straight off the back, it looks like the artists can now upload their music onto Audius, sending the audio token through the roof, allowing TikTok users to download it for all of their crazy dances, all built on the Ethereum and Solana blockchain. We saw Solana do a very, very similar thing with this ETH 2.0 ETH killer, very, very similar to it with very low transaction fees, scalability, but the recent reason for the pump was selling out of the NFT Degenerate Ape, sending it into the atmosphere and also into the top 10 market caps. Jack Dorsey is back in the headlines, this time with employing Jay Graber, an ex-Zcash employee as the head of software development, who will be spearheading the whole blue sky and decentralizing the social media platform that is known as Twitter. Some of the minor headlines that you may or may not have missed this week. Walmart are finally getting in on the crypto race to challenge their big rivals, Amazon, in looking for a head of crypto. Microsoft and Alibaba are building an anti-piracy system on Ethereum. This is great news for building confidence within the crypto and blockchain space. Chili Bros! Chili's are back in on it with tokenizing the Houston Rockets. And on the whole sports event as well, we have PSV Eindhoven that are accepting their sponsorship in Bitcoin. And you may or may not have heard a certain Lionel Messi has gone to PSG, who will also be accepting a portion of his salary with the PSG token. Back to Alibaba, they have just doubled down on the NFT marketplace with launching their whole auction site. And ZZ held his own on the Bloomberg interview recently with confirming that he's going to be focusing 80%, yes, 80% of his time on regulation issues. And he took it one step further with employing an ex-IRS official to head up the money laundering department. Let's check out the block party calendar for August. BitShares or BTS has finally launched their NFT marketplace and auction site. This was due to launch in April, which caused a tremendous all-time high spike and it dumped very hard after that, after the delay was announced. Although now announced, we can see that this is going to be quite some stiff competition for OpenSea. NKN, new kinda network, has launched their mainnet. The much talked about Cardano, who launched their Alonzo upgrade this month and also was meant to be launching the smart contracts, has been pushed back to September. That has not seemingly halted the price as it broke $2. Not only that, but it also breached the top three. Big moves. Of course, unless you've been stuck underneath a rock, you'll know that the London hard fork for Ethereum has also upgraded. We see an average increase in price to the peak of around about 72 days. So it has seemed to have gone up, up, but not quite away yet. Carver is also in the news for August as the mainnet has launched on the 12th of August. Also on the 31st August, they'll be launching the market making cross chain protocol. So expect to see some big things from Carver. Let's get into the new tokens, ICOs, and or moonshots. Of course, with all of these, do your own research and just remember this is for educational and fun purposes only. But top of the list so far is Efinity, a new coin launched by Engine. What is this? It's for cross-chain NFT transfers built on Polkadot with all of the hype around NFTs. Hey, this is gonna go places. Second up, we have Wider World. Of course, in a world dominated by metaverse and NFTs, a coin with such a low market cap and also backed by the digital currency group really has only one way to go, and that's up. In third, moving into the world of insurance providers, we have Bridge Mutual, a space dominated by Nexus Mutual. At the moment, we have Bridge Mutual, which is offering crazy APYs due to the high liquidity pools within insurance. With Nexus Mutual looking at around about 30x the current Bridge Mutual market cap, we seem to see in such a low competitive environment so much growth potential. After today's roundup, we have trending coins. What is hot? What is everyone talking about? Top in the list, yet again, we have Wall Street Games, a kind of different gaming coin or play to earn, which is very, very much task based. It seems people are still going crazy for these. And straight into second place, another familiar face within the trending coins world, we have Crypto Blades. Fancy style RPG game, again, play to earn, everyone's going crazy for it, but we have seen a catastrophic drop in price recently. Breaking the mold a little bit, next we have Unilayer, which is a multi-chain trading platform. 
PC integrating OKX chain and launching a launchpad which layer holders can participate in. Why is it so big and trending? Well, it's been shielded by some big accounts on Twitter at the moment. And let's face it, what are ICOs built on? Finally, we have the curveball, which is SLP, or my favorite coin, Smooth Love Potion. A potion required within the Axie Infinity gaming world, which you need in order to breed your new pets. Smooth Love Potion. Just love saying it. Wrapping it all up today with Blockhead's two sats. And we are still very much in a world of regulations, from China still banning up to 11 crypto trading companies, Spain getting in on the act as well with looking to really bring a couple of exchanges into question. However, we are starting to see this die out and this is predominantly led by exchanges and crypto trading companies really paving the way and making a shining example of employing the right people to rectify a lot of these extending issues. Which means it's great because hopefully we are just getting closer and closer to future proof in crypto but also building more confidence within this space, which again is one step closer to mainstream adoption. We can't wrap up without talking about non-fungible tokens, NFTs, this is really dominating space just as DeFi did not so long ago. I don't actually see this one going away because I think we are going to be seeing a new world of trading start to formulate. Similar to that world of how big Pokemon cards got, we're going to start to see things like that pop up throughout the NFT world. When companies like Alibaba are getting involved, you kind of have to listen. And finally, my last tinfoil hat theory with all these news drops happening, the general kind of news cycles that we're seeing and the super cycle Bitcoin is going through along with the halvening and where the projections lie within hitting 100k hopefully by December as a lot of people are speculating towards. I kind of feel that this is alluding to a huge, huge news drop about to happen, whether it's a massive mainstream adoption or some kind of retail integration whether it be at the much talked about Amazon, but we could see it as simple as the more realistic integration with Twitter. However, watch this space because all of it is gonna to allude to something incredibly bullish for the entire market space. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching and remember guys, patience pays. Don't forget to like and subscribe and please leave any comments down below with any topics you may want us to cover. Of course, please give us a follow on Instagram at Block Party Trading. Check us out on Twitter at Block Party Trade. Of course, we invite you to join our free Telegram channel, which features loads of free trades and news updates. And you can find us at Block Party Trading.